Purple Plant Lady here again. Uh, this is going to be a really short video, but I wanted to share it because um, I have experienced the death of <laughs> plants to um, overwatering. And I don't think it was because I didn't follow the directions. Um, you know, they tell you to water your plants when, you know, the pot is light or when you stick your finger down. Um, but, you know, plants are alive and sometimes you don't really know the accuracy of what you're doing. So what I discovered was my umbrella plant, um, I had watered it once a week and I tested the top level of the soil. However, I was killing the plant because at the bottom of the plant, um, apparently the pot that I had gotten from the nursery was keeping water, I don't know how it was doing it, um, in the pot. The plant was not drying out. And so I, when I got this moisture meter, and you can see it's dirty because I didn't do what I was supposed to do with that, but it's a moisture meter. And it's just a basic moisture meter, and I got it off of Amazon for about $10, I believe. But it's it's a, a dual monitor, so it has um, the dry or moist or wet at the bottom, where you see the red and the green and the blue. And then at the top it has a light meter too, so you can see what kind of light um, is present. Um, so that's good, but I mainly use this for the moisture. And now, what they tell you to do is to stick the moisture meter in the pot and then to see what level it is. And it comes with a little, um, you know, guide that tells you what, pl what different plants need. And for example, this plant probably needs like a, you know, six or a seven maybe. Um, and so you would water it until it got, you, you would um, water your plant, take the meter out, and then, um, I'm sorry, you, would you put the meter in and then you would see where it was. So like, we're gonna test it now. Um, and I do a little something different with this than what they tell you, but you're not supposed to leave this in the plant um, after you've measured it. So I don't leave it in the plant for an extended time. However, I do water it with the meter inside instead of taking it out. So for example, this plant is too dry. So if you can see, it's at a two. So I need to water it. But instead of taking the meter out right now and watering it and then sticking it back in, what I like to do is water until the until the meter goes to where. So I'm gonna water it. Sorry for the shaky camera, but I'm gonna try to water and do this at the same time. So I'm watering and I'm watering and watering it. And then I'll come around here and make sure it's evenly watered. Oops, got some on the table. Um, and I don't, you can see the the meter is moving. So it's moved out of the red zone. And this plant likes a little bit more water, so I'm gonna keep on adding water until I see the meter go. Now, I don't want it to get to the end where it says wet, um, so I'm gonna stop it now. So I might get there, but this plant dries out pretty well. But what was happening was my last, when I actually watered the, um, that's, yeah, it went all, it's wet now. So this will dry out in a minute, but what was happening was with my um, umbrella plant, it was, when I stuck the meter in, even though I thought the plant was dry, it went all the way to the end like it did here. And it just stayed like that for weeks. And my plant, a lot of the plant died because it um, was overwatered. Um, it turned brown and it was dropping leaves. And so this is, now I would take this out. I wouldn't leave this in here. Um, but you can leave it in there while you water. And then I would, you know, you can stick it back in to see if, you know, you're accurate. But I, you know, I would definitely take it out and clean it. Um, I'm not going to clean it right this minute, but. So I would invest in a moisture meter because, you know, you spend, you know, some money on your plants and the moisture meter is about, you know, like I said, $10. And for $10, you can be sure that your plant is not dry or too wet. Um, because like I said, um, sometimes you think you're right and, you know, the top level is dry and you, you know, you waited a week to water it and it's still wet. And it's refusing to dry out so this will also help you know when your plant is not drying out for some reason if it's not taking up moisture maybe it needs some more sunlight and you don't know um, I think that the moisture meter is a great way to prevent needless plant death so um, this is a three-way meter it has the, the moisture and the light and the pH apparently I, I don't even know what that is but um, I mainly use this for the moisture so hope this helps somebody and hope you can save a plant and um, I will talk to you guys soon.